Hail Internet, I am Lord Vikingbeard. Welcome to the Steam Controller, a hybrid of traditional controllers and a trackpad mouse, designed to bring all your PC games into a more laid back living room environment. Let's get this out of the way. I've noticed in a lot of reviews for this product, people don't seem to understand what it's for. The Steam Controller is not here to replace your desktop keyboard and mouse. If you are using it sat at your desk, you are doing it wrong. This controller is designed specifically to bring games that are extremely awkward or otherwise unplayable on a controller to be far more usable on such a device, thus allowing you to take all your games into a more relaxed environment. In fact, of the three steps Valve has taken to bring Steam into the living room, that being Steam Machines, the Steam Link and the Steam Controller, it's probably the biggest step forward to achieving that goal, as no amount of gadgets that allow games to run there can necessarily make it so that games can be played there. So how does it fare? Remarkably well. So far, I've yet to find a game I cannot play with the controller. This is due in no small part to the mind-boggling customization afforded to you, and the ability of others to share their own layouts with the community. So in many cases you can jump right into a lot of games without having to do any tweaking. This will also become more and more the case over time as more players get the controller and start fiddling with their favourite games. The device itself is very well made and comparable in build quality to first party controllers for the consoles. It also contains a few neat features that expand the capability such as extra buttons on the grips, Dual stage triggers, where you can add additional function to having the trigger fully depressed. And gyroscopic motion control, allowing for things such as steering wheel like control for racing games. Or interestingly, it has been used to devise one handed control schemes for amputees by allowing camera movement by tilting the controller. Which is very cool and is an exciting glimpse for the future of these functions. But obviously the major difference to a standard controller is those trackpads. And while they take some serious getting used to, they are anything but bad. A big contributor to this are the HD haptics. Fundamentally, they use a kind of mini rumble feature in order to give you the kind of physical feedback you would get out of a more traditional input. I was actually taken aback just how well this worked. The first time I slid my thumb over the right pad, if I didn't know any better, I would have sworn I was spinning one of those trackball mice. It's quite remarkable what they have done, and I think without this feedback the controller would be pretty awful, but with it, it's a revolution. There is an awful lot to like about the Steam Controller. A huge amount of thought and effort have gone into making this a device that can play anything, without the need for the more bulky inputs usually associated with PC gaming. Not to mention, it also makes a great device for navigating websites on a home theatre PC running a more traditional operating system. As outside of games, pretty much every button is mapped to a function for web browsing. And I find myself using this feature quite a lot, especially since they added the big picture keyboard when you have big picture mode minimised. It still has some way to go, but really has the potential to get there and with regular beta updates adding features, the controller I bought a few short weeks ago is now better than ever. I honestly can't wait to see what they will add next, as they tweak and enhance the software and update the firmware. So the question you're all asking yourself is, should I get this? And as alluded to in the intro, it all depends on what you're going to do with it. As I said, if you're going to be sat at your desk and you play all your games with the keyboard and mouse, this is not in any way, shape or form for you. However, if like me, while you do play at your desktop when you're wanting to be competitive, but you also want to be able to relax on your couch, feet up and enjoy a more relaxed pace, this is in my opinion the best device on the market for that task. It can play everything you throw at it, but be forewarned, there is a learning curve and if there isn't an official or community layout, you'll have to spend some time setting up to get a decent working layout. However, if living room PC gaming appeals to you, and neither of these caveats bother you, or are perhaps even appealing, then I highly recommend it. Farewell, and thanks for watching.